algebraic solutions in concentrations expressed as x such as 5x, 10x, etc. And we'll see a simple logic behind the formula C1 V1 is equal to C2 V2 which we so very often use to dilute solutions. Over the years, molecular biology techniques have simplified and standardized. This resulted in plethora of companies offering kits. These kits provide many reagent concoctions and users are simply required to dilute and assemble assay systems. Very rarely you are required to make solutions from scratch. So if you understand how to dilute solutions, you can easily assemble assay systems, for example, restriction digestion assays, PCR reaction assays, or simply making electrophoresis gel. Many reagents commonly used in the lab are often made in concentrated versions called stock reagents. Lab users simply dilute them and make working solutions. For example, TAE or TBE are buffers used for DNA gel electrophoresis. Now let's imagine that you have 10 ml of 50x concentration of TBE buffer and you want to dilute it to make again 10 ml of 1x buffer and use it for DNA gel electrophoresis. How will you do it? Just in case you are wondering what is meant by X, you might have heard concentration units as molar or grams per liter. So what is this X? Concentration can also be expressed as X. To understand that, let's make some lemonade. Let's imagine that you make the most awesome lemonade in your gang of friends. Your recipe is quite simple. Take one lemon, one sugar cube and dissolve it in one liter of water. There you go. A refreshing glass of lemonade that you are famous for. But now your gang of friends want you to bring 10 glasses of lemonade for a lab party. You don't want to carry 10 liters of lemonade on your back. So what would you do? Well, you will make 10x concentrated lemonade which can be diluted to 1x to drink. In order to make this 10x concentrated lemonade, all you would do is you will take 10 lemons Ten sugar cubes but you will still dissolve all these things in one liter of water so now you have 10x concentrated lemonade that you can carry in a small bottle conveniently and in order to make the same refreshing glass of lemonade all you need to do is take one part of lemonade and add nine parts of water that's it you will make the same refreshing glass of lemonade so when you say 10x lemonade you are not specifying how many lemons and sugar cubes that you have added all you are saying is if you dilute 10x lemonade 10 times by adding nine parts water you will get drinkable lemonade. When you have 10x TBE buffer, all you are saying is that whatever is the concentration of tris, boric acid and EDTA in working TBE buffer, you make it 10 times concentrated. Whoever wants to use it needs to dilute it 10 times. User don't need to know how many molar tris, boric acid and EDTA 
are added in 10x TBE buffer. Now let's imagine that you have 10 ml of 50x solution and you want to make 10 ml of 1x solution so there is no difference in the volume here. Thus for every 50 molecules in 50x solution there will be one molecule in 1x solution. Now let's imagine that there are only 50 molecules in 10 ml of 50x solution. Thus upon dilution 1x solution should have only one molecule. So the question is how much liquid should be transferred from 50x solution to 1x solution in order to add one molecule. Now 50x solution has a total of 50 molecules in 10 ml. Dividing 50 by 10 we get 5. That is we have 5 molecules per ml of this 50x solution. So let's analyze 1 ml of this solution. Now 1 ml is equal to 1000 microliters which contains 5 molecules and 1000 microliters can be divided into 5 equal parts of 200 microliters each. Assuming that we have a homogeneous solution, there will be one molecule in every 200 microliters. Thus to transfer one molecule from 50x solution to 1x solution, all you need to do is to transfer 200 microliters from 50x solution and then add 9800 microliters of water to make up the volume to 10 ml. This is how you will prepare 10 ml of 1x solution. This was the logic behind dilution. However, you can reach to the same conclusion by a simple formula which is C1 V1 is equal to C2 V2 where C1 is concentration of 50x solution which is 50x of course. V1 is volume of 50x solution. This is the volume of 50x solution that will be transferred to 1x solution. C2 is concentration of 1x solution which is 1x of course and V2 is volume of 1x solution which is 10 ml in our case. In all these four quantities that is C1, V1 and C2, V2, V1 is the one which is not known. So according to the formula 50 into V1 is equal to 1 into 10. We will take 50 on the other side of the equation and we get 1 into 10 divided by 50 which will give us 0.2 ml. In order to convert 0.2 ml into microliters we will multiply 0.2 with 1000 microliters since 1 ml is equal to 1000 microliters. This will yield us 200 microliters. This is the exact same result what we deduced logically just minutes before.